Hi, this is the seventh video in our Scratch Challenge workbook. And today we're going to be doing Monkey Rescue. So let's read the introduction. Scrolling is sliding sprites together in the same direction so that a character appears to be moving through a scene. In Monkey Rescue, scrolling will make the cat fly across the city, saving monkeys. So what you do, press the space bar and the scratch cat rises in the air. Do nothing and he falls downwards. That sounds a little bit like Floppy Bird, right? So when Scratch Cat touches a monkey, he rescues it and it vanishes. You have five lives. Hit a building or a cloud and you lose a life. How many monkeys can you save before all your lives are gone? So this is really similar to Floppy Bird because you're like a bird or a cat flying through the air and you're trying to avoid obstacles such as the cloud and the buildings. So this will actually, you'll be able to understand the creators of Flappy Bird when you make this game. So there's going to be a lives and rescued variables. So let's get started. So from our last project, the Keep Uppity, we still have our uh, extension video sensing. So let's see how we can turn it off. Maybe let's just press off and then let's press it to run the program. Now let's put it back. Oh, look, we're gone now. So, start a new project called the Monkey Rescue. Del delete the normal scratch cat. Go to the library and find cat flying. Cat flying. Now let's add some sounds. Sound tab. We want the chi chi sound. And we also want to add the sound meow to. Okay. Now let's build this code. So this code will cause him to drop continually. So when the program starts, we go to our start position. I'll do the negative 181. Y will be zero. So X will be somewhere over here and it'll be start on the very start on the center. So somewhere maybe right here. And then set size to 60. Go to front. Does it just go to front layer? I think they mean the same thing, right? Remember this book is a little outdated, like from our last scratch book and from this version we're using right now, but most of the things should be the same. So the forever loop control and then change Y by two. Oh, shit. So then the Y would decrease by two, so it'll go down, right? Because this is positive, this is negative. Now let's give this a second script. This will allow you to control the cat's upward movements. So remember, we want to control it using the space bar. So when the space key is pressed, we'll switch costumes. Switching costumes will make the cat look like it's flying, right? So that's good. So just next costume. And change Y by 20. So it'll go up. 
this time. I'll go on the stage and select the backdrop. Stars. Now we're going to add more things buildings, clouds, and monkeys. So add a sprite. Buildings. So now we need the code for buildings that will scroll from the stage, scroll across the stage. And the start the start button is clicked forever. Go to two fifty. Oh no, what happened? <sighs> And zero. It'll look like that. Start on the edge of the screen. Switch costume. To a pick random from zero to ten. Repeat. So loop this a hundred times. Change X by negative five. So move from the right to the left. Okay, now let's add the clouds. Hmm, which car? Just a regular car. When the program begins, set size to 70. You just want to make the cloud a little smaller, so. Whatever. We also want these to scroll, right? So. To be its starting position, two fifty one one one. Repeat this one seventy times. Change X by negative three. Now let's load the final sprite, monkey two. Oh, there's just one monkey, so it's monkey it is. So this will make the monkey invisible until it is dropped onto a building where it suddenly appears. It will scroll across the stage with the building. When the program begins, Forever. Show how it looks. We want to do these forever because we don't want to just do one building, one monkey. We just want to have lots of buildings, have lots of monkeys, and let the game continue. So go to X. Two fifty. 200. Set size to 40. Repeat 
this 100 times. Change x by negative 5. If you notice, it's repeating 100 times and it's changing x by negative 5, just like the building. So it's going to look like it's on top of the building. It will move with the building. Oh, we're going to have an if else loop. So if this is happening, if it is not touching the building, Can you change y by negative 50? Set ghost effect to 100. So it will become invisible, right? Right, put in the right order. Hmm. So if the cat saves like the monkey, it will become invisible, it will vanish. So if it's but if it so if it is not touching the building, that means a cat saved it then it vanishes. But if it is touching the building, then we set the ghost effect to zero. So that means it's going to appear. Okay, so now we need some more scripts for the cat. So when the program begins, set lives. So these are variables we need to make now. Lives. To five. Forever. If touching buildings, that's bad, right? You don't want it to hit the buildings. And we play a sound. And we lose a life. Oops, that's pause. If you, if you like press the code, it will run. Which is helpful for like, say, debugging. If you want to check if a code works, you can press on it. But sometimes you can press on it accidentally. Other if. Operators. So when it loses a life, we want to quickly check if it is still alive, right? So if the lives is equal to zero, then it'll be game over. Stop. Wait, it's part of control. We wait. We wait a few seconds before checking if it's still touching the building. Because once you touch it once, just give it a few seconds for the buildings to leave, and then you won't lose another life right after you just lost one, right? And also, we need to make a rescued variable. So 
let's duplicate this brick. So you go right click, duplicate. There's like little bars for you to scroll. This time we delete the set lines to five. Let's take it out. And we want to change cloud, change touching clouds. So we're just making minor adjustments. So we'll also lose a life if it's touching the cloud, right? So we, it's a little easier than say, putting this together all over again, just duplicate and make the necessary changes. Now let's use a brand broadcast button to broadcast the message vanish. It's actually yellow. Where do we put it? We put it. Oh, okay, we don't put it yet. Make a new message. Oh, vanish. So it's telling the monkey that it should vanish, right? We need another script. When the program starts, set rescues to zero. Forever, if sensing, if it is touching monkey, You play a happy sound. We add a point to our rescue. We broadcast the message that we wrote earlier, broadcast vanish. And we wait three seconds. It's important to have these little wait three seconds because if you wait zero seconds, the cat might still be touching the monkey and you might get two points for rescuing just one monkey. And also the last step is for the monkey when. It receives manish, you should hide. Okay, looks like our game is done. Let's press the start button. Whoa, looks so cool. Hey, oh wait, it's a space bar, I forgot. I was pressing the up arrow. So CA, like remember the project page? It would be really important to have instructions here right now, right? Like press space bar for a cat to go up. Avoid the, oops, the buildings and clouds. Save monkeys. Well, it's really important to have instructions, right? So when you create your own games, remember to have good instructions to tell your users how to play. Okay. Whoa, whoa. This is cool. Notice they're random. But the buildings are also different too, because remember we said, oh no, the clouds and the buildings were really close to each other. And I lost all my life. Okay, I saved five monkeys. So it looks like we're finished with this project. So remember, if you have any extra time, 
You can always change it to whatever you want. You can change the sprites. You can change the backgrounds. You can make the game different. You could try making it look like Flappy Bird. So imagine if you drew it. You could design your own sprites too. Remember using the paint option. So good luck.